This is the story of Thomas and Sarah, a story of love and infidelity, written by Emma Lascalle and narrated today by Howard MacDonald. The sun had set and the evening breeze carried with it the sounds of the city. People were rushing home, but few stayed behind, basking in the cool air. Among these was Sarah, a young woman with a heart full of love and a mind filled with dreams. She stood on the rooftop of her apartment building, looking out over the city, lost in thought. Sarah was in love with Jack, a charming and handsome man who had won her heart with his wit and humour. They had been together for six months and Sarah thought that Jack was the one for her. They had talked about their future and Jack had promised to love her forever. But on this evening, Sarah's mind was troubled. Jack had been acting strange for the past few weeks. He had been distant and their conversations had become shorter and less frequent. Sarah didn't know what was going on, but she had a sinking feeling in her heart. As she stood on the rooftop, lost in thought, Sarah heard footsteps behind her. She turned to see Jack standing there, looking down at the city. He didn't say anything, but Sarah could tell that something was wrong. Jack, what's going on? Sarah asked, her voice trembling. Sarah, I need to talk to you, Jack said, his voice quiet. Sarah's heart sank. She knew what was coming, but she didn't want to believe it. Jack took a deep breath and began to speak. Sarah, I'm sorry, but I've been seeing someone else, he said, his eyes fixed on the ground. Sarah felt as though her world had collapsed. She had given her heart to Jack and he had betrayed her. She couldn't understand how he could do this to her. How long has this been going on? Sarah asked, her voice choked with tears. Two months, Jack said, his voice barely audible. Sarah was filled with a deep sense of anger and betrayal. She turned away from Jack and looked out over the city, trying to compose herself. I trusted you, Jack. I gave you my heart and you threw it away, Sarah said, her voice filled with pain. I'm sorry, Sarah. I never meant to hurt you, Jack said, his voice barely above a whisper. But it was too late. Sarah had made up her mind. She turned to Jack and looked him in the eyes. I can't be with someone who doesn't respect me. Goodbye, Jack, she said, her voice firm. And with that, Sarah walked away, leaving Jack standing on the rooftop, alone and full of regret. Over the next few weeks, Sarah tried to move on. She threw herself into her work, spending long hours at the office and avoiding social events. She didn't want to see Jack or anyone else. But as the days passed, Sarah realized that she couldn't stay alone forever. She missed the warmth of another person, the feeling of being loved. And so she decided to go out and meet new people. One evening, Sarah went into a bar in the city, hoping to have a good time. As she was sitting at the bar, a man approached her his name was David and he was kind and charming. They struck up a conversation and Sarah found herself drawn to him. And as the night went on, Sarah and David grew closer. They talked about their lives, their dreams and their fears. 
and as the night came to an end, David leaned in and kissed Sarah. For a moment, Sarah felt a sense of guilt. She still loved Jack, even though he had betrayed her. But as David held her close, Sarah realised that she needed to move on. She needed to find someone who would love and respect her and she couldn't keep holding on to a relationship that was filled with betrayal. Sarah and David started dating and as the weeks turned into months they grew closer and closer. David was everything Sarah had ever wanted in a partner. Kind, caring and supportive. He made her feel loved in a way she had never experienced before. But even as Sarah was moving on with her life, Jack couldn't shake the guilt and regret he felt for betraying her. He tried to reach out to her, but Sarah refused to see him. She had made up her mind to move on and she didn't want anything to do with Jack. As time went on, Jack realized that he had lost the love of his life. He knew that he had made a terrible mistake and he would never forgive himself for what he had done. One day, Jack decided to write Sarah a letter. In it, he poured out his heart, apologising for his mistakes and begging for her forgiveness. He told her that he would always love her and that he would never stop regretting what he had done. Sarah received the letter and read it carefully. She could feel the pain and regret in Jack's words, but she also knew that she couldn't go back to him. She had moved on with her life and she was happy with David. And so Sarah wrote back to Jack, thanking him for his apology, but also telling him that she had moved on. She wished him well and hoped that he would find happiness and peace. In the end, Sarah's story of love and betrayal had a happy ending. She had found someone who loved and respected her and she had learned to let go of the pain and betrayal of the past. And even though Jack would always hold a special place in her heart, she knew that she had made the right decision in moving on with her life.